Welcome to the rap rap up where I'm about to make a million out the bed. It's your boy, Kek So. And I'm brought to you, and I'm joined by my co host, the one and only Spill Milk. Spill Milk. And yeah. uh, this podcast is brought to you by Meet Me at Freesham Park. Meet Me at Freesham Park. I'm now, baby. Anyways, Milk, let's get right into it. I'm going to let you start us off today because I need to keep you on your toes, white boy. Sorry for calling you that. I'm a little offended. A little bit. Um, <laughs> well, uh, it actually, we're starting it off with- I got the Whitney with Houston the, shirt on. Shout out. Shout out to Whitney. <laughs> Polish, uh, a Polish motherfucking, like, America's Got Talent, just the Polish version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they call it in their language. Mm-hmm. Um, they, the winner won 10,000 whatever- Dollar units they use in Poland. Dollar units, Ten- currency. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they got them. All right, let's get to it. He got there. to ten thousand bands doing what? He he recreated um, Hotline Bling. You know when he, that Hotline was, Bling? He was in full blackface Hotline. and hands and in the whole jacket with the tims. <laughs> with the tims. So I was. I was. He just, all right, you see, went ahead and that's where he just offended me. Down. That's where he just defended me because I was going to wear my Tim's today, but luckily I didn't. I should have had. But look, people don't, if you don't know what blackface is, it comes from early, you know, American uh, a film. You know, they weren't cast in niggas because, you know, racism and shit. And so when they needed a black person to be portrayed, they put on black. Goddamn tar mask, and it would they'd never be portrayed good. They'd either be drug addicts or monsters or rapists, criminals. So that's what comes to blackface. It's why niggas just don't fuck with it. You don't do it for no reason, not for for Halloween, nothing. Milk, you seem like the type of nigga to do blackface. Don't put that out in the universe. (laughs) Before you do it, (laughs) do it for real, for real. I was, I'm proud to say I was uh, Michael Jackson three years in a row for Halloween. But I was the white version, I, though, so I guess I can't. Okay, so what's wrong with doing the white version? Why don't they get, like, why, okay, tell me something. And, you know, this ain't Bash Milk Day, but as a, the, the, the scenic white man on the islands of I know, uh, 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 you know, you know, my, you, uh, I guess you ain't the minority, but definitely ain't, you ain't it. But you is it, but you still milk. The brain, but uh, right, right. what is it about the entitlement of white people that they feel like they could just like they should be entitled to do whatever? So like, why do like if some shit offends niggas? Why is it? Why is it that you guys must do it? Does it go back to I that think... slave owner mentality? Because like, why is it like? Why do white people find a way to justify saying the end or like the ones who do? Why is and you know that's a common. You know what it is. You know, why are they like, why is that? Why do, why can't black people have anything? Is it just such a sense that you guys feel so much better than us? Or what are you, what are you guys doing, Honky? It's, it's honestly, like, I'm sad to say where I've, I've met a lot more people here in college. And not to say all of Poland is racist, but there's a lot of racist white people out here. And it's, and I thought it was over. You and thought racism over. was over. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really just only talking to you for about four years in a row. I can't really, I don't really talk can't to no one it. <laughs> Can't really, like, I, I don't really. See, like, you know, shit like Trayvon Martin did never stop happening. I want niggas to remember that. Just because it's not the hot news topic like it was in 2015, niggas are still dying out here. And don't, don't be, I, I hate that whole woke shit, but if you do consider yourself woke, stay woke for real, for real. The problem didn't stop. It wasn't solved. Like, milk, it, racism didn't end. You know what I'm saying? It right. didn't slow down. Even. It just isn't, you know, widely accepted in the same way that it was uh, in the great, great grandpappy day. Milk walked out. <laughs> I forgot to put the VVs on. <laughs> He was so offended by the talk about racism. <laughs> and, you know, white people would just get so uncomfortable when you ask them. But real life, 
what what why can't black people have anything why why do you, why do white people feel like they need to get their licks in with everything i don't know this is what we were making the podcast about. <laughs> <laughs> why why uh, you guys get to it bro because luckily i spoke before the podcast so i was are you ready what's up why can't niggas have anything the vvs ain't gonna save you bill <laughs> Um, you feel a little better now. <laughs> I still feel a little safer. <laughs> I was saying, you have to learn where this shit comes from, and you can't like justify it like it's not fucking. Uh, I'm not saying VVs in general. I'm saying what you, your original question was, where people are hating on black people. It My really question just comes was, from them. No, it comes from what. Them hating. I mean, it's like, it's just. Why can't fact- black people have anything, though? Why do white people feel like everything? We let you niggas have hot. Okay. Why can't, and you, we let y'all have, have, have motherfucking baseball, but the, the Mexicans took that shit from y'all. Why can't, why can't y'all let niggas have anything? We gotta take. The Dominicans. The Dominicans. Why do we, we have to take whatever we have. Why, why do you think that is? I feel just since the controlling class originally in uh, most, you know, since America is a, a conquered land, it's like we took this shit from, I'm not saying we, let me just go ahead and dis, dis uh, enfranchise Yo, uncle. white people in general. <laughs> Yo, grandpa. <laughs> since... <laughs> Look, I'm actually 364th Choctaw Indian, so really they took it from me. Nah, you know where that comes from? It's from your people raping the Indians, and then it just got in. Like, that's how they it, it got That wasn't forceful, right? Two, two generations ago. <laughs> what do you mean two generations ago? Or three generations ago. It was definitely three generations ago. I don't Nigga, your grandpa, so. like, a, like, your dad, like, 60, bro. I know your people. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yo, dad was with him. <laughs> I think I at uh, least 50, 60 or each, but he at least 50. What I'm saying is the controlling class has predominantly been, you know, old Jewish, like just racist people from the, from the jump. If they were going to kick all these Indians out. T.I. denies involvement of $5 million alleged cryptocurrency scam. 